Mop flies, either you love them or you hate them. Coming up, I'm going to show you one take on this infamous fly. Fish baits fly box. Tie, fish, share. What's up, fly junkies? My name is Lance. Today, we are going to tie a version of the mop fly called the mopsicle. Yes, I know many of you are saying it's just another mop fly, and you'd be correct in saying that. But this one caught my attention more than the ones I typically find. You know, it's interesting how adding or changing one material can drastically change the feel of a fly. This mopsicle popped when I found it. To tie a mopsicle, we will need a hook, and the hook we're going to use is a fire hole, 516, size 8, it's a jig hook, and we're going to put a black 532nd inch slotted tungsten bead on it, along with some 015 lead wire, and the thread we're going to use is 6 op black unithread, and then we need the main ingredient, which is the mop material, and I've got a mop here that I will just cut a piece off of. And for the veil, we'll use chartreuse ice dub. And for the collar, we'll use black UV ice dub. Let me know in the comments below what you think about mop flies. Do you love them or do you hate them? Oh yeah, and one more thing. If you are a fly junkie or new to my channel, click subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of their fly tying demonstrations or other fly fishing related stuff. Let's get started. My vice is eating a size 8 fire hole 516 jigged hook with a 532nd inch black slotted tungsten bead slit on it. I want this fly to swim well below the surface so I'm going to add a bit of weight by throwing about a dozen wraps of .015 lead wire around the hook shank and shoving the lead wire as far into the bead as I can. Using some scissors I'm going to cut one finger from this mop head. And then I'm going to take the hook out of the vise and hook the mop finger about halfway down the finger. The hook goes back into the vise so that I can start my thread just behind the lead wire to lock in the mop finger. For the next part of the fly, I'm going to use a technique that I use to tie in the veil on the flash bulb. I take some chartreuse ice stub and do the best I can to even out the tips by pulling the fibers apart in my fingers and placing one bundle on top of the other so that the tips are even as possible. This needs to be done a few times and if done properly you should end up with a small bundle of dubbing that has somewhat even tips. After I have a small bundle of dubbing, I'll do the best I can to spread the fibers in between my fingers. From here, I'm going to take the spread out bunch of dubbing, fold it around the hook shank, and catch it with the thread. Now I'll fold the dubbing fibers that are in the front of the fly to the back and secure them around the shank with a couple wraps of thread. Next, I twist some UV ice dub flavored black around the thread and then wrap the dub thread around the hook shank to fill the, in the gap between the veil and the bead. After this, it's pretty self-explanatory. I whip finish the mopsicle and using my bodkin, I spread a bit of head cement around the exposed thread. And there you have it, a bonafide mopsicle. If you have any questions or comments about tying the mopsicle, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do what I can to help you out. If you want to learn how to tie other fly patterns, be sure to check out my other fly tying demonstrations and subscribe to my channel so you can get my other videos in the future. Thanks for watching and catch you later.